All right, let's take a look. So in previous episodes, we mentioned what, how does the database work? How does IT work? Um, and it seemed like we came to the conclusion that the database is actually not very efficient. It's actually difficult to look things up. The records exist on the database somewhere, but might take some expertise to go retrieve. Hmm. Uh, but in this episode, we saw, we see in the sheriff's office, we see Juliet interacting with the database, inputting data, getting responses back on a terminal on a different level than IT. So maybe the database is more capable than we think. Let's take a look. She's interacting. She gets a chime. That's a database coming back at her. Another chime, database coming back at her. This scene was weird to me and inconsistent because we, in I think it was episode four where Marnes and Juliet goes down and like he didn't check the database to see if that, if that woman had died or not. And so that gave me the feeling like oh, checking the database must be complicated or it must be like time cons time expensive. So like just forget it and I'm gonna, we're gonna skip. Turns out that, that Marnes had a computer in the sheriff's office that he could have just tip, 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 tip and then it would have sent it and been fine. In fact, it's not like he has to sit there and like watch the screen, watch the screen, watch the screen. And when is this thing going to turn? Like you just sit there, do some paperwork, hey, do some Sudoku's. I don't know if they have that style. But then like it gives a little chime, a little push notification. Like, hey, the thing's done. Yeah, there's the thing. It's weird. It's weird that like there was a problem encountered, but actually there's a very easy solution already built in. And this database has consequences throughout the silo. Like if it's easy to look things up, like census data, resource management, and it's quite capable, uh, that resolves some of the problems that we've seen in the silo. That's right. uh, a good example of this is like tape. Mm -hmm. Juliet stole some tape from IT, but if tape inventories are easily looked up on the database, then we can see if there's surpluses or not, and we can allocate resources well. That's right. It's not just like free floaty tape. So, That's right. In fact, instead of nearly needing to steal it, they could they have an inventory of all the tape in the silo mm -hmm. and say, oh, we're running low. Uh, the, the engineering, the down deep hat needs them. We'll just make some more. We get a, we get a five month lead time, start making it. Oh yeah, that's true. Weird. So yeah, interesting. We'll keep an eye out for more of these database interactions in the show to see how the consequences.